Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Elder Fitz. Welcome to the LFCC Minister's Corner. In this video, we're going to take a walk through a Zondervan academic online course. So last year, I signed up to take the Old Testament survey course on Zondervan just as a way of being able to run us through its paces and see if it was something that would be beneficial for biblical study. So I signed up and I'm almost done with the class. I'm down to my very last unit. And so I figured before I finished the course out that I would do a tutorial just to show you uh, what the experience would be like if you decide to take a class on Zondervan. So I've got my login pulled up and so I'm signing to my course. So let's take a look. So when you log in, the first thing you'll see is this dashboard. And it has a little bit of information here under my courses. So right now I'm under my courses. And if I had multiple courses, they would be listed here, but I only have the one. And so it shows you the one that's in progress and of course they're being completed. And one thing to take of note here is the progress. And so you notice where it has the expiration date of May 10th because you have a year to complete the course. Now you can contact Zondervan and they'll give you an extension if needed, but you have by default 12 months. Now the 95% is the course progress. So that's not my grade. That is how much of the course I've completed. But if you want to see your grades, then you would go to this tab up here that says my grades. You click on that and then it'll break you to the area where it shows your grade. Now, the current grade is a result of the assessment quizzes that you have at the end of each unit and the midterm grade. And your midterm and the final is weighted more than the assessment quizzes. Now, next, if you want to look at the book for the course, if you click on my ebooks, it'll bring up a separate tab with your course book. Now, I've already got the tab open. And so let me go back up here to the cover page. So you see, this is a survey of the Old Testament by Andrew Hill and John Walton. So this is the tech books for the course. Now, I very rarely came over to this particular uh, page or tab for the ebook because the same text that is here is also into the under the main course under the unit sections and I'll show you what that looks like for a second but you do have a textbook here so if you want to go back and read it you can and I don't think this is downloadable but you can you know copy and paste the material if you want to do that but it's not anything that can be downloaded but anyway that's your textbook so let's go back over to grades and go back over to my course now, to launch your course, you would click anywhere where it says the Old Testament survey area, so either the graphic or the progress or any over this area here, you would click here and open up your course. Now, you notice how I went down to the bottom of Unit 15 because this is the area where I left off. So it'll take you to the last unit that you left off from. So let me go back up to the top here. And so on the left here, all this looks like it did before on the dashboard. But the one thing that is different, and that's the continue course. If you click on the continue course button, it'll take you back to the very spot in the unit where you left off. And so the Zondervan, the web interface, um, does a very good job of, of marking and keeping track of where you leave off. So that's a really nice feature. So I'm gonna go down here to where my last unit is. And then you notice something here. Unit 15 is highlighted or it's in darker text and everything else is in the lighter text because whenever you complete a unit like 14, and so you see here where I have four sections, overview, study, review, and assess. And then to the right over there, you see those check marks. That means I have completed those sections. And once you complete a section, and then it'll, it'll sort of gray it out. So it's one way to get just a real quick view. You can find out where you are from this page based on what is highlighted and what is kind of faded out. So if I pull up unit 15, you'll see here where I've done the first three, have completed overview, study, and review. And so the assess, uh, which is your quiz, is the only thing that's remaining. So next, let's take a look at the overview, the study, review, and the assess. 
So I'm here under the overview section, and this is an overview for whatever books you're studying in this particular unit. Now, I'm in the Minor Prophets, and so those are smaller books, so they kind of lumped the Minor Prophets into two units, and I think it was about six of the books each. But if you go over a book like Genesis, for example, which is a much larger content, then it'll just be just that one book you would study. But sometimes they do combine uh, multiple books, depending on what the content is. But no matter what book you're studying or books, you always have this overview and an introduction. And the introduction kind of gives you a real quick snapshot of the book. So here is Nahum or Nahum, and you see that it had the key ideas, the map, the purpose statement, major themes, and then you have an outline. Now, one thing I want to show you is that this is the same thing that's in your textbook. So I'm going to go back over to the textbook. And let's go down to Nahum, right here, chapter 39, and you'll see the same thing here. Key ideas, map, purpose, David, major themes, and you have your outline. So if I click next here to see the rest of it, and so here's more, here's the writing of the book. So this, this information here, which is the textbook, is the same as what you find here. Here is a much cleaner interface, easier to read. Now, there's more space between the sections, so I just find this to be a much easier read. And so here is when you have the same thing. So the next book is Habakkuk, same thing, key ideas, timeline versus uh, major theme, you no know, God's presence. And you have your outline, and then you have, it goes on for the rest of the books. So if we scroll down to the bottom. You'll see that for this overview, this introduction, there are seven subsections. So right now we're in the introduction. Now, if you put your mouse over these, you can see whatever topics are coming up next. These are video overviews by the course instructors. So let's, you can either click next to go to two or click on the number, but so let's go to the next section here. And so here is the video by the, one of the course instructors. So you can click to play this, and you also have some controls for the video. So for example, if I mouse over, now you've got the scrubber. You can also tell you how much time is left in the video. You can watch in HD quality. And you also can speed up the video or you can slow it down. And I'll tell you what this comes in handy is when I've already gone through this one time and then I wanna go back over it again then I will sort of speed up the video so that I can get through a little quicker because I've already gone on over it er uh, the first time. And so this is just me going over a review. And so that's whenever I'll speed it up. You have this video uh, introduction for each book. So if I come down to here, once again, if I click on one of these, it's also going to bring up the same video overview of that particular book. Now, this course had more than one instructor. So there were two instructors. So I think at about Haggai is when I have the, the second instructor. So let's pull that one up just real quickly and take a look. So here I have Haggai loaded. Let's start the video. Let's skip ahead a little bit. So here's the other instructor. So this particular course had two instructors. So once you go through the overview, then the next tab is a unit study. So let's take a look at that. So here is the unit study. Now this is your textbook. So the unit study, once again, I'm gonna go back over, is the equivalent of the textbook. So chapter 939 of Nahum, all this material that's noted here is what you'll find over here. And so you would read through all of this, the writing of the book, There'll be timelines, there's background, purpose, all this information is in here. And then once again, here are your subsections and you can mouse over and see what's coming next. So I'm still in the book of Nahum and so it'll be the structure and major themes. And now each one of these books normally had two of these tabs. So if look at Habakkuk, it's the writing, background and purpose. And then for Habakkuk, it'd be the structure and major themes. And so this is your textbook. And the one thing I would say is that it's a lot of information to read and to digest. So you will have to read it multiple times in order to really get it. Normally, I read it at least three times. At a minimum, I go through all of this three times, trying to highlight, trying to make note. But 
it is quite a bit to remember. And so uh, it's a bit challenging. So a lot of reading, but I found it to be very helpful. So next, so once you get done with all the study and you go through all the books, then the next section you have is your review. So let's take a look at the review. So here we are in the Unit 15 review. And Cerigo is a, a third party that Zondervan has partnered with, and they are a learning system. You can think of Cerigo as sort of a uh, digital flashcard type system. But the one thing that it does that's pretty cool is it actually tracks your learning and it gives you a process on building memories for what goes from you know, short term to longer term. And you actually can download the Cerigo app you can log on with your Zondervan credentials and you can study from there as well. Not only that, but you also gives you access to be able to create your own unique flashcards. So if you want to study something totally different, you can use the Cerigo system and uh, create those flashcards. And so it's pretty, pretty uh, intuitive and it's very, very cool. So what you see here is now this is not your default view because normally you get a different kind of um, splash screen that'll pop up that says that uh, are you ready to start learning your topics? And so normally, and I'm going to scroll to the bottom. So down here, it tells you how many topics there are to study. So for this chapter, I have 19 total. Now, you saw how much text there was in the study section and in the introduction. So I'm telling you now that just studying the Cerigo system is not near enough to pass the test. I made that mistake the first time. I said, hey, I can just study these you no know, terms here in the flashcard system and I'll be able to ace the exam. Uh, uh No, no. You got to study the material from the textbook in order to pass the, uh, the exams or the quizzes because this Cerigo not nearly enough. So I found it the hard way. It took me one time, and then I figured it out, and I was good. So you see you have a total of 19. Now, I've already gone through these, so I've studied all 19. And the 14 is what Cerigo, based on their system, is fading from my memory. And so if I go up here, this is a chart of what all that is. So out of the 19 items, 18 of them are new, and they're good for, see these ones here are says good for now, meaning these are okay in terms of my learning and memorization of these items. These are starting to fall. And what happens is over time, the longer you stay away from this and you're not studying, these little dots start to drift down this little timeline. And they'll come down here. And then once they get to this area here, according to this system, I need to review that information. Also, there's a timeline right here. Now you see right now it's all zeros. That means that I am due to study those fading memories, those fading items. And so I would select, I can study down here. I can do all 14. I can do 10 out of the 19, or I can study five out of the 19. So I've got five here. So I just want to show you what this looks like. Uh, it won't look exactly like you do the first time, because the first time you go through a learning cards first. You learn the cards first, and then you'll start being tested. But just to give you an idea what it looks like. So here one comes up, one of the items from the flashcard system. And one thing I don't like about this site, at least on Zondervan, is that you don't see everything in a single view. So you have to scroll up and down to see stuff. So it's just, it's kind of annoying. But so for example, one of the items is iconography. So the question is, do I know it or don't I know it? Now, the cool thing is if you do not know this term, you can click don't know it and then you can study this. So this is what you actually see the very first time you launch the Cerigo system on Zondervan. So you have the term and then you have the definition. So pictorial means especially conventional images and symbols associated with a subject. So this is what the word means. So once you've studied this, you think you got it, then you click, I got it. Now you notice it goes on to the next topic because if you, if you do it right away, then the system already knows, well, you're already gonna know this. So it moves on to the next one, chasm. So if you think you know this, you select know it, and then once again, so you can't see everything in the view. So you go in here, and so obviously this is multiple choice. So I'm gonna pick one and say, hey, I got it right. So if you notice the green flash, that lets you know you got the answer right. Plus, you have the green check mark. 
So once you've got this one or, uh, answered, you would hit next. And then here's the next one. Now I'm going to intentionally get this one wrong. So let's go to it says know it. And I'm going to say which one of these. Well, I know it's not an audible or visible manifestation of God. So I'm going to select that. And you see that answer is wrong. And what it does is the, the wrong answer is highlighted in red, which is what I selected. But then it, the correct answer is in green. So you'll know what the correct answer is. And if you hit got it, it'll also bring that up and you can study this again. Now what happened is once you study this again, you hit got it, this is going to go back into the queue. So you'll be tested about this about this material again or this particular question. And there is a progress bar up here that lets you know how far you've gotten. So that's the Cerigo system. Pretty cool. And I thought that was very um, intuitive uh, learning system, but just a way to enhance what you're learning in the Zondervan system. So that is the Zondervan course in a snapshot, in a summary. Just wanted to show you guys what that was like. But the one thing I would say is that it is not a, a casual course. It is not something to be taken um, kind of half-heartedly. You have to be, in my opinion, somebody who is serious about your academic study because it is a lot of material. Yeah, it's very theological, and uh, you're going to learn new words, new terms, new phrases. Um, it will expand your, your knowledge, and it will challenge you. But it is designed to be a, a seminary-level semester course. So this is like taking a college class, and believe me, it feels like it. But anyway, uh, just want to give you guys a quick run through. So if you decide to take a class and you need more help or you need more, um, have more questions, you know where to find me. Um, Andrea is taking New Testament, so she can give your feedback as well. So anyway, this is a quick, quick run through of the Zondervan Academic Online course. So that's all I have for this video. God bless you, and I'll see you next time.